Hello everyone and welcome to this demonstration on how to use the app link, the host link, and the guest link. And I'm just going to dive in and get right to it. I'll select an app, I will enable browser mouse for this situation, and then we will head down to the generate app URLs. And you'll notice that there are three boxes. And once you click generate app URLs, you will have then three links. Well, what do they do? The first one, the app link, is your standalone app that allows multiple users to click on the same link and then have their own unique experiences. So this is what's commonly referred to as single link, single link multi-user experience where each user clicks on the link and then they are redirected to a unique instance that they are able to interact and move within. But we do also have the guest link, the host link and the guest link and this allows a shared session where every guest is seeing the same thing that the host sees. And this is important if you are doing a guided tour or an interactive demonstration where the host needs to share his or her screen with the other participants in the meeting. And it works exactly the same way that a Zoom meeting works where the host will initiate the session and then afterwards guests can sign in. So in order to do this, the first thing that needs to be done is to, of course, generate your URLs. And you'll see that you now have a host link and beneath that your guest links. And in order to use this feature, the host must first connect to the stream. So while that's loading, I'll go over here and mention uh, over here on the guest, this link is then shared with anyone that you would like to join the session after the host has joined. So this could be sent out in a calendar invite and all of your guests could simply just click on this link and be taken into the stream. So I'll click play and I'm in my stream right now. So everything's looking good. And then the next thing I'm going to do um, now that I have the host connected and I know that I have the host connected because you can come down and you'll see this sort of menu over here. So now that I have my host connected, I am then going to start a guest stream. And we'll see that this pretty much goes through the same process. And if I do a split screen now, you will notice that I have two streams occurring at the same time. Uh, over here is the guest and over on the right, excuse me, over on the left is the host and over on the right is the guest. Now, anything that I do over here on the left is mirrored over on the guest stream, and that's because the stream is being mirrored to every single guest that's in the stream. Now, if you would like to do, um, you do have some options of being able to give control to a guest, because right now I am trying to control the stream, and I am not allowed to because uh, I have not given control over to the guest. So all I need to do is click this, give control to the guest, and then now I'm over here on the stream and I'm able to control the movement. And then I can also disable uh, the control if I'd like to regain control, or I can also remove guests from the experience um, if it's needed. And of course, everything that I'm doing, everything that I'm moving around is then mirrored over here on the right side. And then, of course, um, we can also remove guests, simple like that. Um, and that will allow you to gain or remain control within uh, your stream. So that is our guest, host, and app links and what exactly they mean. Thank you.